Hi, I'm Joanne Yeo, animal communicator and author of Conversations with Companions, Mastering Communication with Your Pets. I'd love to share with you one of the stories in my book about Annette and her female cat called Tasha. I wonder if you can relate to this story whereby you like chatting to your animals all the time, sharing about your day-to-day, -day, what you've been up to, and you like to make sure that they are included in whatever it is that you're doing. And are you also someone who wonders whether your pet can hear you or even understand what you're saying? What about when you leave the house? Wonder what they think about that. Where do you go? So do you explain to them what it is that you do when you're not in the house with them? Well, these are some of the questions that Annette had about her cat, Tasha. So let me share with you chapter five, which is titled Truth. This is what Annette had to say. I have Tasha my rescue cat, who I find quite strange due to a few behaviours and mannerisms I don't understand. She stares at me so much. I know she's trying to say something to me, but I don't know what it is. I'd just love to know what she's thinking. I talk to Tasha all the time, out loud and in my mind. I'd ask Tasha questions, and although I believed I got the answers, I was never really sure if they were from her or if it was just me answering myself. I was curious what Tasha would say to Joanne about how I can improve my communication with her. Joanne began by asking Tasha how I could involve her in my conversations. Tasha said that firstly, she finds it difficult to translate all the human words she sometimes catches a word here and there and can piece together what I'm saying from that, but usually only with words I use often, and she has learnt their meanings. Tasha mentioned to Joanne that I talk a lot about going to the shops. She was right, because I always tell Tasha when I'm popping out to the shop to let her know I won't be long. Joanne said Tasha has just managed to work out what the word shops mean. But to Tasha, the association to that word was, I'm not going to be in. Tasha shared that she feels a little frustrated because she would like to know what this word shops actually mean. As there are other times I leave the house, but I haven't said shops, so it confuses her. Tasha offered an analogy. She said, it's like someone sharing about their trip to the theater and talking about how amazing the show was. She wouldn't be able to get involved with that conversation because she's never been to the theater. So she'd probably just say, that's good. And the conversation would be over. But if that person imagined Tasha was there with her at the theatre and shared the experience with her using their imagination, then she could connect with what they were saying. She would know what they were talking about and be able to share their enthusiasm and hold a conversation about it. Tasha communicates by experiencing things. So she showed Joanne that when I go to the shops, she wants me to imagine picking her up and putting her in my bag, taking her in the car and talking to her as if she's physically with me as I'm driving. When I get there, I am to take her in with me and as I'm going around and buying things, I am to tell her why I like certain things and share the whole experience with her. Then when I come home, I could ask her if she now understands what I mean when I say shops. Tasha said she would love that and that she's very curious about different things. She also shared that she's not physically brave enough to go outside. 
So experiencing these things in this way, using the imagined information Joanne has spoken about in her teachings, would give her an adventure. Would you like to hear the rest of the story and find out how it turned out for Annette and her cat, Tasha? Well, it's a, it's a fun ending, so I shall leave the excitement for you when you read the rest of the chapter from Conversations with Companions, Mastering Communication with Your Pets. And you can find my book on my website, www.animalcommunicationinsights.com.